y'all. My name is Holly. Welcome back to my channel. Today in our home, I'm going to be showing y'all my Thanksgiving Day home tour and like Thanksgiving Day traditions. And I'm going to actually be doing a collab video with my good friend from Tennessee, Allison Bowie, and she's going to show y'all her fall home tour. So after you watch my video, be sure to go over to her channel and check her channel out and see all of her cute ideas for the fall. Y'all meet Allison Bowie. She's from Tennessee. I've only known her a little over a month and I already love her so much. She has a gift for decorating and she loves antiques just as much as I do. And she's a crazy plant lady too. Her little family is so cute. She has a husband named Colton and two doggies, Mason and Murphy. Allison reached out to me a little over a month ago while I was on the cruise ship actually. That was our first time speaking. She had just discovered my YouTube channel and she wanted to join our Young Living community. She said while watching one of my videos, it was like she was watching herself. She said she had never met anyone who had the exact same taste as herself. This past month, we have been talking more and more, and I have realized that we are like the same person. It is so crazy how you can meet people just over social media. Decided we wanted to do a collab video together on our fall decor, so please go show Allison some love and tell her that I sent you. I hope that y'all enjoy her as much as I do. Now in my video, I have prepared a small little Thanksgiving Day virgin meal for Drew and I. If you're like me, you have a huge family and you're running around for all the holiday hustle and bustle. And so Drew and I don't really get to have that Thanksgiving Day meal to ourselves. And so I wanted to start a new tradition of cooking just a miniature version of that. Um, for just Drew and I to enjoy. I always take my decorations down the day after Halloween and I always just throw up my fall decorations. It's not ever exactly how I had them before. So I was gonna show y'all how I kind of changed them around for some more fall ideas. And then also showing y'all my table setting, how I set that up for our, our Thanksgiving day decor and also changing that over to our table spread of the food that we're gonna be having and how I laid that out. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. It's gonna be something fun and different for me and for y'all as well. So let's get this day started. I'm going to be making some green beans for us for tonight. So I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil to drizzle over the frozen green beans. I'm going to do green beans. I love putting some lemon juice and feta and salt and pepper on them. So I'm going to use my uh, lemon juicer. I got it at an antique store to juice my lemon juice. I'm just going to pour it right over the green beans. So I have my potatoes boiling and I'm gonna grab my pink Himalayan salt. I love the way that this stuff tastes. It tastes so much better than regular salt. So I'm just gonna get a dash of it. And then I'm going to put my pepper on here. I'm just gonna give it a good stir. And then next I'll put a little bit of feta on top. And then I'll also have some feta cheese sitting out on the table if we want to add any more before we eat it. We love feta cheese. And this is so good together, y'all. You've got to try it. This is mine and Drew's favorite way to eat green beans. I have my turkey platter. I got this from a thrift store. I should have showed it to you guys before, but it's in my home tour from last year. And I'm just going to put my green beans down over it, and then I'm going to put my rotisserie chicken on top. But before I do that, I'm going to sprinkle the feta all over these. So I went ahead and just put some of these uh, little cherry tomatoes into the skillet and sauteed them a little bit to add some more color to the plate. And it's really good with the lemon juice and the feta also. And so now I'm just gonna sprinkle my feta cheese around it. Okay, I have my KitchenAid that I'm gonna be using to mix up my potatoes. And this was a happy accident the other night. I didn't have butter or milk and I had already made mashed potatoes up. So what I did was I used almond milk, some heavy whipping cream, and then some sour cream. And I don't have measurements on that. I don't measure anything. I just eyeball. So I used my Himalayan salt and my pepper. I'm gonna mix that up really well. And now to clean up my huge mess that I made. And then we'll be ready to start the tour. I wanted to show y'all this. I'm about done cleaning the kitchen and I'll be able to set the table and we can get on with the tour. But this was just too cool not to show y'all. I took a before picture of this and I'll share that with y'all in just a second. But this thing was like black. You can see this thing was covered with black, burnt, 
crispy and nasty. And I took a before picture of it because I was like, well, let me see. I've never tried cleaning it before. So I used my Thieves Cleaner with my baking soda mix. And I just scraped some out and put it in here and was rubbing on there. Let it sit for a little bit. And then I just started scrubbing it off. And look, I have never, I think this is going to come like completely clean. I'm excited to see how this is going to look. Thieves Cleaner is the bomb, the way to go. I love that stuff. I mean, you can't ever get this stuff off of, and mom and dad just got me these copper pans like, a couple of uh, Christmases ago. So I was super sad that we had messed one up already, but it's about to look this brand new. This was not intended to be in my video, but I'm so wowed by this. And I know y'all are gonna wonder how in the world I did that, but look how much better that looks. Okay, so like I said, this is just baking soda and then I'll show y'all my thieves cleaner. I use all natural cleaners now. And so I keep all my um, Young Living cleaners in here and these are highly concentrated. So these make up a lot of bottles. So I just used one cap full of this in here with some baking soda. And then I put a few drops of lemon in there. And then I just scooped it out and put it in here and then took a little sponge and started scrubbing it. And this looks like brand new. There's a few scratches on here from Drew and I where we had been cooking on it, but holy moly, that's fabulous. Well, now that I showed you how awesome that worked, I know y'all are gonna be wondering how in the world you clean with it. I clean everything with that thieves cleaner. So my bathrooms, countertops, toilets, um, my floors, I mop with it, everything. So how I mix up my cleaner is I put one cap full of that Thieves Cleaner in this size of bottle. I think this is 16 ounces. And then I fill the rest up with water. And as you can see, I've already used a lot of this. And it smells so good. This is great for cleaning. And so I just spray this all over my counters and I'm gonna clean this up. Wipe off all of my counters with this. I'm gonna get one of my little sponges I love cleaning with these little hand knitted um, wash rags. So I'm just gonna wipe everything up, get the house clean and smelling good, turn on my diffusers, and then we will start this home tour. Go ahead and show y'all again. Again, everything I use is all natural. I don't use any of the harsh chemicals at my house. And as you can see, this stuff works just as good, if not better, which I think it works way better than even, even the cleaners that you get from the store. And so um, this is $22.50 wholesale. And so you take one cap full of these, put it in here and then fill this up. And it makes about average 25 of these bottles. So I have two of them right here. And I've had this bottle since April and I have shared this with some of my um, cousins and family members, friends. And I still have almost half a bottle still left. And I've made a lot with this. Mop with it, I've made my um, baking soda scrub. And so, this is what under my counter looks like. And it looks a whole lot better, a lot more organized than um, having all those cleaners up under here with the colorful bottles. I like being organized and clean and pretty, so this looks so nice to me. Anyway, I wanted to share with y'all that because I knew y'all were gonna be asking questions after seeing that magical moment. This cute little plate that I got from the thrift store that I'm gonna put my rolls on. So I wanted to show y'all our front porch and just a little something that I changed up different this time. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, then you haven't heard the latest news that Drew and I are planning on at some point selling our double wide and building a home. And we are wanting a big porch and a big um, backyard porch. So we are holding off on landscaping. We were gonna do a lot of that this year and I was planning on showing y'all a lot of ideas, but now that we decided to build, we are not gonna be doing any landscaping um, around our home. So this little piece was out back and we thought we were going to build like an outdoor kitchen area. And so with us building a home, we decided not to do that. And so this needed to be on the front porch so it could be covered. And so I brought this cute little iron um, stove to the front porch and I love how it is decorated. Our, my mom's is about dead, but I was not about to buy any more because I'm about to change over to Christmas. I have to use your imagination. Those were orange mums. And then I have a cute little pumpkin that Vicky gave me and then just a fern and a little sign my mom gave me. So I love this up here. I think it just made the front porch. It made it a little bit cozier while we are waiting to be able to get that bigger porch that we've wanted. Stepping into our foyer. I changed a good bit in here after Halloween. I love these little pieces of corn that I got a, at a plant nursery. 
just throw those right there in this basket that Miss Althea purchased for me at Hobby Lobby. And then that wreath I got from Rustic Relics last year and I loved it. So I just kind of simplified the foyer area and I love how it turned out. I think it's so pretty. I'm gonna start in our living room next. I have a fire going. And then also I love having QVC go in this time of year because it gives me so many awesome gift ideas. I love just hearing the people talking in the background. I feel like somebody's in the house with me. I might not even really purchase their ideas off of here, but it gives me an idea of things I can go out and buy myself. And so I love having this. I love seeing the Christmas decorations and the people, like I said, just talking. It just makes me feel like somebody's here with me. And so I just love it. So not much has really changed in here. This was on my front porch and I brought it in here. And I loved my football, uh, fall means football in the south sign. And my cute little pictures I got from Kirkland's football, pom-poms, Roll Tide, and Drew is an Auburn fan. And then my cute little truck over here with the pumpkins. So I didn't have anywhere to put all this and I really wanted to keep it out because it was still like football season for us. So I just put it over here. It's not my favorite place in the house, but it works. And then I have my cute little phone. And then our couch has stayed the same. And then over here I have our orange lights glowing. And then what changed from the fall decorations is this little bench. Drew was supposed to put caster wheels on there for me. I have some that I had bought from Etsy, but we didn't get to that. And then I just have this little toolbox that was in my foyer. I have this cute little foxtail, and then some antlers, some pumpkins, cotton, and then um, my friend Kayla Gandy actually let me have these. These are turkey feathers from their hunting club, and so I love that over here. And then my cute little uh, phone blanket that Kayla, my cousin, got me from um, home goods. And so I thought it was really cute over here in Drew's little corner. Now my question is, I wanted to leave it like this for Christmas, um, the basic pieces. So I was thinking about either painting the bench black or stripping it down to the wood color and then painting this white. That's what I really want to do. So y'all tell me, do y'all like it like this, these colors as far as the bench and the toolbox, or should I paint the bench black or strip it down and then I definitely want to paint that white. I think that's what I really want to do. I'm, I'm really torn about is if I want to strip the bench down or paint it black. So y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments below. And then we will move on over here. Love that sound of the crackling fire. And then, oh, also I love using my, I have my wood right ready to go my pine cones, and then my newspapers. And so that just makes it so handy, and I love having this. Y'all have seen this since, I think, my Christmas tour last year, but it just, I love it. It will never change because it's so um, convenient for me to make a fire with. And then over here, not much has changed. I moved this wreath, which was on my vent hood, and then put this little pumpkin over here. And then behind my couch is this little table that I love. And have my chalkboard sign and fuser came from Young Living and I love the little candle flicker. I do not use candles anymore. I only use my diffusers. And so this one I have the blend. It has cinnamon bark, nutmeg, clove, and ginger. And I'll show you that graphic next. But this is pumpkin pie scent. So our house smells like a pumpkin pie over here in this area. And then I have my little herb bible. And y'all have seen all of this. And then I just took away the Halloween decorations that I had in there. And at night, my candles light up. My little LED candles. I love these. I got these from Hobby Lobby. And they are the best. They flicker like a real candle. And so I got two sets of those. And I absolutely love them. And so over here in my kitchen, I have a few new things. First off, I have a pecan pie in my cake plate for Drew and I tonight. And I have these little candles. So as you'll see in a minute, I moved some of this stuff from my table setting over here. But I have my candles, a pecan pie, and some beautiful leaves, and then some real pumpkins on this beautiful tray. She is new. I named her Dolly. 
and I got her at Christmas Village and I absolutely love her and I have a cute little fall wreath around her neck and then I just put my little cutting board with our raspberry pie the stove And then I have my diffuser going over here with these oils. And this one is called Turkey Stuffing, I believe. But this smells so good. It smells like Thanksgiving Day at my grandparents' house. Love that blend. And then we have my cute little chicken holding my plants. Pumpkin spice everything. And then over here, we have my little coffee bar. And this is a little bit different from my fall video. This I actually made at Bloom Studios, which is in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, we go there a lot. It's like they host essential oil classes and just little make and takes. And so they had these pumpkins carved out and then they have these lava stones in here and so you can drop your essential oils on there and this acts as a diffuser and the essential oils are really good for your plants so i love that little piece so this is our dining room and if y'all follow me on instagram at simply lake and lace i do lots of stories over there and so i actually have one of my stories um, in my highlights showing y'all how i put together this and like i said in my stories that most of this is from the thrift store or antique and i love how this turned out i got this from the thrift store for like 99 cents i got my glasses from the thrift store and so i wanted to show y'all how it looked before i put the food spread out so i have my chargers these are my galvanized chargers these are the only chargers chargers that i have and then I got this milk glass, um, these milk glass plates from um, an estate sale. I've had these napkins for a while. I got these napkin rings at the Target Dollar Spot a few years ago. And then these gold uh, forks and knives, they usually are in this little piece. But I brought them out for the first time to actually style my table with. And my friend Heidi that I used to work with actually gifted those to me. And then the thrift store, the thrift store. And so all of this is very inexpensive, but it looks so pretty. I think I ran the leaves through here, put some pumpkins, and I loved this um, tray with the feet. I have this on my centerpiece all the time for my table. I just love it. And then I have my candles lit. These are unscented candles, and I don't leave them lit ever, really. I just um, lit them for the video. I really want to get some LED ones to go in here so I can keep that warm glow all the time. Um, just because even if I wasn't a candle person, I still never leave these lit because these are just like a fire hazard to me. So this is just for you guys. And so this is what the table looks like or has looked like for my little Thanksgiving Day decor. And then I will show you the table spread next. And now we transitioned to our table spread. And I have a pitcher of ice for our sparkling water. Mashed potatoes and gravy. And I think this is so pretty, so elegant. And my gosh, y'all, this was on a budget. Super easy to do. It makes your family feel special. I can't wait for Drew to get home and see this. He's going to think I am like the perfect wife and I cannot wait. <laughs> and so here's a look of everything again. If you want to know where more pieces came from, like that picture and some more ideas, you will have to go watch my fall home tour piece I wanted to show y'all. I moved this back over here. If you watch my home tours in the past, you know this piece used to sit here. Well, Drew walks in and he puts his boots right here and I couldn't stand it. So, he puts his boots in there. I have my purses here. Easy to grab. And then this was a lot of fun. Um, one of my subscribers, a good friend of mine, Miss Barbara, who lives in New York, gave me this pumpkin pie plate. And so, I sat it here and then I got these from Walmart whenever I was picking up my food for this video. And these are Pioneer Woman. And then this is 
past the plate. I don't know really which brand that is. And then also I got these from Dollar General. They're just little football and turkey paper plates. So easy to grab, don't have to wash dishes. And so I just put those there. I love having those displayed. And so I just wanted to show y'all that because I thought it was really cute. I hope that y'all had a great time visiting us here at the farmhouse with our new Thanksgiving traditions. Hope that y'all had a great time with me today and I hope that I was able to share lots of new ideas for you and your families. Please go like and subscribe to Allison Bowie's channel and tell her that I sent you and show her some love for me. She's a really good friend of mine. She's um, into some of the same things that I am and so I have just fallen in love with her and I think that you guys will too. I hope that God blesses you all in this new holiday season. I hope that y'all have a great Thanksgiving day with your friends and family and that you get to eat all the yummy food. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!